It's awesome. Living in a home with locals and Spanish people, it's just, it's an amazing opportunity that you wouldn't get to have anywhere else. And so coming to this house, the house of Miguel's family, his extended family, it's great every day. We're able to have a big meal together and I'm able to meet his entire extended family. I have an experience now that I'll never forget. First day coming here to the Campo, you know, Miguel was telling me that his parents were nervous and they didn't know what foods I liked. And I was like, oh my God, like they're nervous. I mean, look at me. Like, I barely know the language and I'm being thrust into this family of five, six people here and haven't met any one of them. But over the time, you know, I've kind of gotten used to everybody's different accent here. For example, the mom doesn't really pronounce her S's. I've kind of overcome that and learned to understand her and Miguel and really everybody here. They say that learning Spanish in Andalusia, there's almost kind of like a draw, almost like in the south of the U.S. And so learning Spanish here, they say, will greatly benefit you anywhere else in the world that speaks Spanish. And just by thinking that, you know, I feel kind of like I'm on top of a mountain when I'm able to hold a conversation with Miguel's father about him having a job for 41 years or, you know, in the car yesterday, Miguel and I were talking about the stock market and the business side of America and job crisis and everything and I never would have imagined myself having that conversation if I hadn't come here to Spain because it's just you just have these conversations with people that you never think that you would and never would have back in the States and it's just having this language ability has really opened up who I'm able to communicate with here in Spain as well. Miguel will point out to me, we might meet one of his friends who speaks really fast, and when I talk to him, I'm like, well, you know, he's not speaking that fast, whereas I think before this experience, I would have been like, you know, what did you say? Progressively, it's just gotten better over the month, and now in this last week, I think, you know, it's really getting better, and I'm able to understand it a lot, a lot better. You know, one of his friends, they don't know my level of Spanish, so they just start speaking. It's kind of like a make or break moment for me when I meet somebody, and if I'm able to understand them, I feel awesome, and you know, I can keep up with them, and you know, they're like, wow, like, you speak really good. Spanish. I'm like, well, thanks, you know. You know, I'm treated here almost as like a son, really. I was talking to Miguel yesterday when we were at the beach, and he said that he wants me to be able to come back in further years. He said, you know, Reed, you have a house here in Ronda. You have a home here in Fuenrola. You were part of our family now. You've lived with us for a month, and I feel so special when they say something like that. You know, I'll remember this for the rest of my life, and remember coming here every day for lunch, speaking with the mom, swimming with the father, living with Miguel. I mean, I really do feel like I'm a part of the family. I do feel like I have a family here in Spain. I mean, it's it's an amazing experience that I would never take back. <laughs>